I'm going to take a minute here for a short interview. I have a couple gentlemen, uh, very good friends of mine, Mike Solinger, who's been running the interviews for this program, but also Heinrich Reimer. Heinrich is from where in Germany? And North Germany. We have a connection. We have American karate system has grown and now is in Germany. And Mike, you started it over there. What happened? Well, it, actually, it was, I think, quite by accident. Uh, I was stationed in Germany as an Air Force officer back in 1979. And Similar to what I did when I was first stationed in Spain, I started teaching on the economy because I wanted to learn the language. Uh, when I was in Germany, I began teaching at an elementary school in the town of Pesche Scholendorf and at a gymnasium in a small town on the other side of the base I was stationed at uh, by the name of Roden, if you say it in German, but Roden. Uh, my senior student at the time, Rob Debelak, was uh, brown belt and I uh, was forced to leave six months early on a family emergency. Rob got promoted to first on and took over the school. Uh, I was stationed in Illinois at, with the uh, Military Airlift Command and Rob got stationed in Fort Worth at what was then Carswell Air Force Base. As time went along, we both got stationed back in Europe. I was in England, Rob was back at Hesse Schollendorf, and then I was subsequently, after a year and a half, moved over to Wiesbaden. We had, I had approached Rob with the, the idea of running two tournaments up in Hesse Schollendorf, friendship tournaments that would bring you know, friendly competition between our German friends, Dutch, British, uh, Americans, all of the people who were basically in that area. And then one in Wiesbaden, which is, was just uh, somewhat northwest of uh, Frankfurt, where I was stationed. And then we would use the funds to pay for the round trip to uh, airfare uh, and accommodations for our founder and sensei, Ernie Lee. Well, this began to build while Rob was at Hesse Schollendorf. He met and began training with uh, Andreas Moden, who was a Waddle Ryu stylist. Rob competed in a couple of tournaments uh, in black belt forms or kata and won first place two years in a row, which was, was um, not heard of over at that point in time. And, uh, Andreas and a number of the other German black belts took a great interest in the American credit system and our involvement uh, there began to blossom. In 2000, uh, after I had retired from the Air Force, uh, Andreas and four other of his black belts came over and met with Mr. Lieb and we, we attended both the, the summer camp and other training that we were doing here and the American karate system began to grow um, in Germany and was eventually recognized by what is called the German Karate Union or the uh, Deutsche Karate Bewerb, uh, DK Val, which is referred to it. And this is how Herr Reimer came into to, uh, this whole thing with us as well. And this has now been uh, over, geez, a decade, and a, maybe over a decade seven and a half. Years, seven years, eight years. Yeah. You know, I'd say oh, at least decade. more. Yeah. Yeah. We've been um, exchanging. Some of us have been going over there. Those have watched the program. Fred Reinecke and I have gone over there quite a few times. A lot of other people in the AKS yes. to run seminars. And we've had the uh, German group over here four times now, I believe. Yes, at least, yes. And um, I, uh, uh, at that time, I was the highest uh, belt in Germany. And Andreas Mutter was my student. And before we were trained together, and they also were joining my uh, championships, Robert Debelek came the first time and took part of our uh, competition. Yeah. So I learned uh, AKS people also in training uh, in Germany, and Andreas Wurl convinced me to join also AKS. And so we, were, we built up AKS now in Germany, and every year it increases, we get more clubs and uh, one time, an annual time, uh, we all meet together and our friends from America visit us and this is the way for we visit you in your summer camp. Yeah. And Heinrich has got some notoriety in Germany, you've competed in tournaments over there? Yeah, I've been uh, captain of the first uh, National team, national team in Germany, for we were different associations, and they all went together. And for the first fight of this union, uh, uh, new DKV, Deutsche Karate, I was a team captain and fought against France. 
it was a history uh, moment. And, and now I have some students, just now my, one of my students became the second time European champion, is going now to Japan for the world championship. Excellent. Yeah. Well, we're so happy to have you here in America. Love you guys visiting us. Yeah. Your karate is very strong. It's fun yeah. to train with you. Oh, thank you. Heinrich thank you. has visited some of our clubs here in Muskegon, over at Mona Shores with Dave Thomas, and at my club over at Northwinds Fitness, and the students have enjoyed working out with him. For those who might be interested uh, on the internet, if you go to www.aks-usa.com, there is a link to our German our sisters, uh, AKS in, in, in Germany that uh, you may have to be able to brush up on your German a little bit, but there is there are some parts in it that are uh, written in English that also provides for historical background and an understanding in the training camps and things that they're doing over there. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I've got to get back to teaching a class. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks. Now, when you practice a whole lot, there's a couple ways of doing this. When I come in and do the hook punch, we normally punch, our hand is down, he'll block with a bone edge either this way or this way. And that's good and it'll make you tough or hurt. And it's up to you. Some people want to toughen their arms up. But this kind of thing will help toughen your arms up. Or you can do what we call a three-star block. We go one, then low block, then middle block, then one, two, three, one, two. And this stuff, hitting with a bone edge, toughens you up, and this is an Okinawa style. Their philosophy is you throw a punch, I break your arm, you throw another punch, I break that arm, you kick, I break your leg, and now we talk about whether we want to fight. You can't, I don't want to, that hurts. It's a lot of hard training, but no. If you want to train like that, that's fine. But make sure your opponent's in agreement. When we practice this drill, get back in the stance, when I throw the punch, rather than bone edge to bone edge, we can go to the flat of the arm to the flat of the arm, and not get a lot of bruises, and we can do these a lot longer than we can do the bone to bone. Now, this is my third or fourth class today. Bone to bone, I'd be crying by now. So, you know, take it easy unless your partner and you agree that you want to toughen up a little bit. Your choice. Go ahead, continue. Focus on the punch, not on the block. The block will be there. And self-defense, excuse me, in self-defense we will poke in the eyes because no matter how well, how big you are, or, he could be 300 pounds and I could be, a, you have to use your imagination, but he's 300 pounds, I'm a 100 pound girl, and he comes in, poke the eyes like that, will make him not be able to see. I don't have to dig his eyes out. I just gotta reach out there and tap his eyes. Even if when he comes at me and I go there and he blocks my hands, and he blocks my hands, now his attention is all up here, I can get the kick in the knee. The goal is to get away from my opponent in self-defense. A flick into the eyes, one, two, kick in the knee. The guy can't see very well. He can't walk well, even if I don't break his leg. Just, I wrench his kneecap. No special kick. You just come in and push against the kneecap. You can do damage. Now I can get away from a guy who's blind and limping. And that's really my whole self-defense clinic for people who aren't in martial arts training. They want to learn to defend themselves. So for the people who are watching, that's your quick lesson. For the students training, if you want to teach your wife or your daughter or somebody and they don't want to spend time in class, that's it right there. Fingers to the eyes, kick to the knee, get out of there. Okay, back to the drill we're doing. Okay, it's one, two, kick. Kick right above the kneecap. Okay, go ahead and do four, let your opponent do four. 